Quite a dream, was you? Yeah, I dreamt somebody kicked me in the ass when I was asleep. Did not look comfortable. I can't get my mind to stop showing me pictures. Do not try here. I keep seeing her face. Called a death mask. Rope sure got the job done. Got the job done? Is that all you can say? Has got the job Take done? A drink. A big one. Is there not any part of you that feels sorry at all? For what? Eating the last little bit of fish? You know well what I mean. Well, who come looking for who? Man could get himself in a lot of harm sneaking up like that young fella. With respect, sir, I'm not trying to sneak, but are you Marshal Lee Stone? Who wants to know? My name's Clayton Cooper. I'm a writer for the Harper's Weekly Magazine. Perhaps you've read it? Don't cipher words, separate wanted posters. What do you want with me? I'm here to write a story about you, sir. I don't want no story done. Be off with you. Leave me be. I've ridden a long way. I just can't go back empty-handed. Well, it is your problem, is it not? People back east are keen to hear stories about the Wild West. And people like you. Body sleep around you. Where's my canteen? Other canteen. No. Uh. You got a problem? It's for my rheumatiz. Can hardly hold my gun anymore. You are getting like an old wife, old horse. Uh. Oh my god, is these damn tasteless biscuits. You've been eating all night long. Mm. Uh. Well, what have I forgot? Thank you. You probably think I'm too old for this, don't you? Butt that out for me, will ya? Good boy. I know, it looks like I'm following you. Well, are you or are you not? I am, but I do not mean to pester. You have to understand that people want to read about you. My stories, they would make you a legend. Make me a legend? Oh, hey, what, what are you doing? I will leave this hanging on a branch down the trail. But you're gonna leave me stranded? I have no doubt you will find your way. Be glad I don't shoot you in the foot. I can't get enough reading about Wild Bill and his bravery. You are a knack on the horse's ass. Did you 
becoming a legend in the East. Well, Bill is a back shoot, son of a bitch. Your story could make you live forever, Marshal, just like he will now. Do not relish living forever. I have not decided how long you will. I have had all I can take of you, Maturina. No. Following me. No, what are you doing? I haven't eaten in days. Fire! If you're hungry, help yourself. Well, I suppose. It's my story about you. <laughs> Still don't want no story done. I never got to meet him, but my grandfather was, well, he wrote a lot of books. Well, that's why you're out here pestering. Writing is in your blood. I do not expect to be as good as him, though. What was his name? James Cooper. Actually, he went by James Fenimore Cooper when writing. That's well, as I've heard of him. He wrote a lot of books. Deerslayer, Last of the Mohicans. Well, maybe if you got better titles, people would be more inclined. Like Bill Cody or Custer? Or Marshall Lee Stone? You do not give up easy, do you? Well, thanks for the grub. Coffee. Gotta go get my horse. Word has it that you've been in a lot of shootouts. My story about you could make you a legend like Hickok. Hickok. Legend? Worked with him in Abilene. Crazy bugger. Love the man. We had a lot of good times together. Son, just doing my job don't make me no legend. And you doing a story about me ain't gonna make you any more famous than last of the Mohicans made your granddaddy. Sheriff in town tells me you're going after the Bush brothers, and I can get a pretty good story. You get yourself a pretty good shot. This ain't no place for a tin horn. Somebody somewhere must have given you a leg up, Marshal. You ever been shot at? No, sir. Do you know how to work one of these things? I've written about them. The people that I go after will start shooting just as soon as they see me. Some of that lead could find you. A leg up is all I'm asking. You can see that I can take care of myself. You got family somewhere, boy? Yeah, Boston. Well, write down an address for me. In case I have to send a body back somewhere. Tell me, city boy, how long you wish to have been using pancakes for saddles? They are hard to stay on sometimes. We'll just have to get you one of them side saddles the women folk use. You're far too kind, Marshal. Careful. <laughs> Jesus. It wasn't Jesus that did this. Keep your eyes open, I'll be right back. Maybe I should come with you? Just in case? Looks like they were prospecting, as I suspected. Killed for their gold. It was not the gold that killed her. Are we not going after them? Going after who? Whoever did this. I do not go after clues. Trying to figure out who or what done what. That's a job for a sheriff. A sheriff? I am a federal marshal, son. I only go after criminals I have papers on issued by the courts. Usually wanted dead or alive. Surely we could do something. And what would you have us do with your story, Mr. Writer? Chase the wind? Maybe they can tell us who done it or which way they went. What about following tracks? We will bury them. We will camp here. I will make my report in the morning. How do we dig a hole with no shovel? 
We cover the bodies with stones so the animals can't get at them. We will send someone from the nearest town when I give my report to the sheriff. Tether the horse. Getting dark. A little bit of help, too much can kill you. This story writing venture, perhaps we should weigh it in our minds. May not be a good proceeding after all. Keep seeing those faces. Some folks cannot cut the cloth, so who is that? I can cut the cloth. So this is why you drink, isn't it? I drink the red body pain, nothing more. What of your emotions? Abnon, thank God. I feel sorry for you. For what? No pain? No. For not being human. My mind no longer runs stories that cause me to suffer. That being human. Yes, <laughs> I am not. You're hard to read. And it's not the booze. Oh, them anxious thoughts gonna change anything? Just give you a headache and a stomach knot. I can handle it. I cannot imagine all the stomach knots you got. How do you... How do you enjoy anything that comes your way? I certainly did not enjoy what I saw. Well, no one would. Just don't relive it over and over in your head. No reason to. Your mind keeps showing it. Well, I'll shut the damn thing off. And how do I do that? Don't try. Chinaman taught me that years ago. Wrote himself up in a railroad accident. Shut his mind off, damn sure. You bandy words trying to make me the fool. You already done that. Who's that box? You have had enough. Had a strong stuff. Government confiscated contraband. 90 proof. Well, it has relieved my mind. Now I must relieve my bladder, 90 proof. Keep it dry here, damn it! Go oh, find yourself a spot. James Fenimore Cooper II? He a friend of yours? Hardly. Came out of the dark sudden like. Well, I would appear to be alone. Drag him over to the fire. Let's see who's trying to bash in your top knot. He is a she. Huh? A girl. Well, I guess whatever it was, you were getting ready to unbutton and brandish about. Terrified the poor thing. You hit it pretty hard. I will apologize when he, she wakes up. Starting to worry about you, young lady. Marshal Lee Stone at your service. My head hurts. Well. No stitches needed. What happened? You got knocked out. Nice apology. He's a writer for some magazine. You beat him up pretty good last night. Thought he was one of the killers come back. Sorry. No need to be. My name is Kate Landry. Cattle Landry's in Montana? You know my family? Nope. For good stories, though. I saw them murdered, Marshall. They kin? My uncle and his new wife. Well, it is a terrible thing. You saw it done? Yes. I'd gone for a ride up the river some. I was swimming in a spot, and I got the feeling to come back. I. I heard noises or else I would have ridden right into it. Good thing you did not. 
Let's head my horse up the river some. Hope they didn't find him. We will get him. They were all very drunk. How many? I counted five. I worked my way up close and then saw they had a rifle. You're lucky they did not find you. Well, one of them came so close up to my hiding spot, I was afraid he'd hear my heart thumping. And then he relieved his bladder almost on me. It was disgusting. Can you describe any of them? That one. And I'll never forget the scar. Scar? From his forehead across his left eye to his cheek. Did he have a limp? Yes, you know him. <laughs> Sounds like Jimmy Bush. Got papers on him, if it is. I suspect two of the other four would be Tom and Leighton Bush's brothers. Got papers on them, too. Trail run cold about two months ago. I'll get my horse and help you find them, Marshal. I need a rifle. Well, now hold on, baby girl. I cannot have you chasing after these men, shooting up the countryside, maybe getting yourself killed. Well, what do I say when I get back? Pa, your brother and his new wife were savagely murdered while I was swimming in a river and then hiding and doing nothing? Being a little hard on yourself, don't you think? What are you doing? Writing his life story. Yeah, he's gonna make me famous. Well, don't you dare write about me. I'm going to get my horse. Do not rile them, son. They are strange creatures. I'm gonna check out the area. You watch over her. Remember where you tied him up? Huh? Always around here somewhere. You feeling better? Spinning a bit, but it's not the first time I've been hit on the head. I guess so, with 12 brothers. So you travel all the time with the Marshal? Just while I write about him. So you're a writer? You write things? I work freelance for Harper's Weekly Magazine. I write a story, I send it in. If they like it, they pay me. You ever read it? I've looked it over in a hasty way. Some people say it's mostly trash. I must say, it's more exciting writing about people like the Marshall than Paris fashion. You write about Paris fashion? I did for a newspaper back east. Now hold on a blame moment. You write about Paris fashion? All those pretty dresses, big hairdos, and the way those girls live? Yep. You have to tell me something. Do they really live like that? That is the way of it. I've seen a lot of pictures of those girls in magazines. I never thought I'd get this close to them, and here you are, their writer. You have to tell me more. You have to tell me a lot more. The main part of my job. I no longer work for the newspaper. Well, do you also find them too beautiful, like in the book? I suppose. And elegant. Elegant, yeah, that's a good word. My inner story book? You told me not to write about you. I guess I wouldn't mind. Of course, I've what you say about me. How about the, the adventures of Kate Landry, the, the prettiest cattle girl of the West, always keeping up to her pa and 12 brothers? I'm we'll ponder that some. She's quite capable and she can take care of herself in this rugged territory. I can see it in print already. You can. Maybe the marshal hit you harder than we thought. You stay right here and we'll get you some water. Kate Landry. At first meeting, one might find her a bit vulgar by her manly, unkempt, and rugged appearance. And even though she appears not as refined as the women in the East, I find myself admiring her strength of character and independent qualities. And even more surprisingly, I find that I'm attracted to this rugged cattle girl. Though I would be surprised if she has any ability for showing me any kind of affection.
You were hard to keep up with. I thought for a moment I had lost you. I changed my mind. I think you should drink. Yes, I'll have some water. No, I do not want you to write about me. No, yes, yes, no. It must be a woman thing. At least I know I am a woman. Perhaps someone has been ciphering through my notes? I did no such thing. Besides, I can't imagine they have anything smart to say from a fashion writer. Fashion writer. That sure holds a lack of sugar. If I want a story done about me, I'll hire a real writer, not one from the East wearing a funny hat. A fashion writer wearing a funny hat. And for what did I acquire this juvenile behavior all of a sudden? Oh, so now I'm childish as well as unkempt? Unkempt? So you did read it. Maybe, maybe not. You are certainly not a very good example of manhood out here, but you can't even toss a rope or brand a steer. If I said choose, I could. With them specs and riding a woman's saddle, I don't think so. Hey, what about all the soldiers you ride those women's saddles? Get your hands off me if you know what's good for you. I bet you don't grab your refined eastern ladies like that. No, if they behave like that, I'd put them over my lap and use a willow branch. Just try so you've already been drunk once. When I was drunk and my back was turned? Drunk or not, I could do it again. Fighting is for roughing. You're not a ruffian, and you're not a man. If you didn't wear those stupid looking specs, I'd probably punch you in the face. And if I took them off? I'm probably blind without them, and I don't hit blind boys who can best if I'm a girl. And I do not cherish the unsweetened pronouncements of a little girl who's spoiled. Maybe I will take them off and punch you anyways. Do as you please. I'm afraid of you. Good to see two people find each other. Now I must leave you both here where it is safe and go after the Bush Brothers while the trail is warm once again. Oh no, Marshal, I'm coming with you. That's my kin that's buried over there. I have weighed that in my mind, young lady, but you would both get in the way. Local sheriff will retrieve the bodies. You look after the writer. Thanks. You know the Bush Brothers, but how will you identify the rest? I'm your only witness. And you know I will follow anyways. I see Tom and Leighton Bush. Jimmy, you'll be close by. Where's my horse? Shh. Probably across the river with the others. Give me some water. You got a plan, Marshal? Well now. the last time he goes bear hunting. Oh, we got company. Don't move, ladies. Long time, Lee. Three of us, one of you, Marshal. That's a scatter gun! Ah. Hold on! Hold on, you son of a bitch! Some of that got me! That is the way of buckshot. It's my family, goddamn you, my family! Tom and Layton gone and got themselves killed. I got papers on you again, Jim. Well, I ain't never going back. You owe me, Stone. And I, a limp, 
Five years rotting in that Yuma prison. Now two brothers all shot to hell. Time has come for you and me, Marshal. I've pondered this moment for a long time. Everybody's got a story. Yours is about to come to an end. You are going back with me to stand trial at Judge Crombie's court. Rocking or over the saddle, that is my story. Which will it be? Well, it will not be over a saddle. Two shots in that scatter gun. Now all you got left is that pistol. Never wondered who's a faster draw, tough guy. Uh, I am not tough no more, Jim. Not fast either. Body's full of rheumatiz. Hell, I can hardly hold a gun with two fingers in this hand. Looky here! You watch it, you slippery bastard. Come peaceable. You will get a fair trial. Holster it. Or I will shoot an old cripple. Well, they made kind words, Jim. Bye-bye, dead man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this hand. We'll settle this on the other side, you son of a bitch. Always did talk too much. Oh my god. It is true what they say about you. I mean, you read about it in books, but nobody ever believes it. This gold will be recorded as evidence along with my report to the sheriff. Then you may take it home to your daddy. We might even see you get there safely. Well, help me find Tom. He won't be far with that much buckshot in him. down here. Put his hand up there, will you, Kate? I'm not coming back with you, Marshal. Didn't think you would be. You knew all along. You what? Kate? Well, I haven't met her seeing the real Kate Landry, but everyone knows she walks with a cane. That cattle accident when she was a kid. It's not everyone knew. I'm a dealer at the Branchwater Saloon in Dexter, about three hours' ride from here. My name's Kate, just not Landry. And you fell into the charming ways of Jimmy Bush. What? He said he was to meet a man and woman he was partners with at the River Bend to get the gold that they owed him. He wanted me to help him spend it in New Orleans. And I suppose you do not know who the bodies are? No idea. And masquerading as Kate Landry? I've talked to the Landry boys at the saloon while they drink and gamble. Made for a good story. Certainly in the place for good stories, huh, Mr. Cooper? I was to meet up with him and we were to go spend it on the river boats. What I told you is true. I came across what they were doing and I hid. I thought you were one of them that night. I've done nothing wrong, Marshal. Taking that gold dust, Quilby. Belongs to nobody. They're all dead. I would say it belongs to the kin of those dead bodies, if there is any kin. I have good plans for this. Drop your pistol in the water and don't come after me. That fellow behind you does not like people pointing guns at me. I'm not stupid, Marshal. Drop your gun and I'll be taking your horses. Certainly does not like that. Anybody? Do not steal anything. I was back in the river where it comes from. I got no paper on her. You want her? No, but. But what? She's kind of pretty. You think you can save her from herself? I hate when you do that. What about the clothesline? Clothesline? We'd hang you up to dry in those times, huh? It's a little thing like that. Women? I know about. Did I ever tell you the time old Hickok and I was having our way with this lady of the night? Calamity Jane come in on us. I cannot write that. Well, you can finesse us some. And of course, the